it's it's called Wrestle Quest, and I think it's funny because actually James and I a long time ago talked about this kind of sort of concept, and as I love to see that it finally came to fruition. And it's really cool because he got some some real wrestlers attached to it. He does have Jake the Snake, Sergeant Slaughter, looks like Andre Legion of Doom, like a lot of the classic wrestlers are a part of this. Macho Man Randy Savage is re- represented in this. Um, the idea is is a Japanese RPG looking game, and it is uh, you know it, it, you're kind of you're kind of in this world where you're pro wrestling action figures i guess um but yeah you go through and you're building up and um it's if you're a wrestling fan it's kind of fun even if you're just a modest wrestling fan but love like japanese rpgs or something like that uh the first little bit i played of it seems really fun and just some of the stuff that i'm seeing so far it looks like a really really fun game it's on every console it's on every pc store but very specifically um it is also on the uh, uh, Netflix app. If you subscribe to Netflix, you can play this game. Um, I, I was a little weird though. Uh, today, uh, Tuesday, the twenty second, um, I was having trouble finding it in the App Store or in the Netflix app itself. But uh, if you do a search for it, you can get a link through. We actually linked it over on our Wrestling Mayhem Show uh, Facebook group. If you want to get a quick link there, well, obviously link here um, uh, directly. But because um, nothing like. They didn't put the links out for it. It was really weird on, on Twitter so far. I don't know, just because it's a, a app store waiting for it to drop kind of thing or something like that. Um, but the characters are over the top. It looks like it's a lot of fun. I'm not a giant uh, Japanese RPG kind of. And, and by, by that, we mean like when you're when you're fighting, like it's the menu system kind of situation um, when, when you're doing that. And you kind of walk around. And it's a top down kind of thing if you're with us on audio. Um, but the, the characters are fun, but then they're mixed with like, again, like, like real, real wrestlers, like Jake, this Nate Roberts, Diamond Dallas Page. And there's a little bit of audio too, because Diamond Dallas Page, whenever he pops up to say his thing, he says something about DDP, DDP yoga, bro. Uh, which, you know, if you know, is that, you know, something from, you know, that he does and he does like a fitness thing. Um, so very fun thing from a, a, a wrestling co- or a, a video game company here in Pittsburgh uh, that's out. And if you got Netflix, which I think like the vast majority of our audience will um it's uh it's 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 free on there uh the platforms i saw uh steam and i think playstation looks like it's about a 30 dollar game um so if you love 8-bit or 16-bit looking games uh i uh, love a little bit of wrestling it, 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 it it's fun there's a lot of whimsy in this so uh looking looking forward to putting some more time it says it's a 40-hour campaign by the way <laughs> so and uh, i just put 60 hours in assassin's creed um odyssey so uh yeah i'm ready for it <coughs> Uh, gonna have to move Valhalla aside, I suppose. So, uh, WrestleQuest.com if you want to see more information on that. So, Potter, this sounds like it's probably up your alley.